Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Me True Brilliance here with the Saturn Through the Houses series back as promised so you guys have been asking me for the 411 on saturn and i am here to give you guys all of the tea spill on this very mysterious hard working back breaking planet okay so when you first get into astrology um one of the the main planets that you learn about is the planet Saturn and Saturn actually incites a lot of fear in a lot of people, especially when you are just new to astrology. Everybody has a lot of fear around the planet Saturn, right? Because Saturn is known to represent limitations, hardships, blockages, and you know, all of those things that we kind of don't want to deal with. But I have a very intimate relationship with the planet Saturn. I'm a moon in Capricorn, for those of you that do not know. So I have a very intimate relationship with this planet. And over the years, I've come to really work with this planet and actually start to really understand how this planet works. So Saturn is a planet about maturity. And to be all the way honest, the people that have the most problems with Saturn are people that have not fully matured in life or you haven't exactly set up your structure in life. And that's exactly what Saturn is trying to get us to do. Saturn is trying to get us to structure our lives and get our shit together. So as most of you guys may know, there's something called a Saturn return where Saturn returns to its original place that it was when you were born. It's a 28 year cycle. So around age 28, Saturn returns to the original place that it was in your birth chart and you have your Saturn return. This is a time of grave responsibility. Sometimes the structure of our life starts crumbling down so that we can build a new structure in our lives. So it could be a time of crisis in our life, but it can also be a time of great rewards. Most importantly, it is a time of great maturity for us and tests and trials and tribulations, which is basically what Saturn is about. But what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the fact that Saturn is not all bad, it's not all doom and gloom. Saturn is actually helping us. It's just the way that it trains us and the way that it gives us wisdom can sometimes be a little bit harsh, okay? So when looking at your Saturn placement, make sure you look and find what house Saturn is in. So I do believe that the sign that Saturn is placed in is very important, but the house that Saturn is placed in is going to show the area of life that you are going to experience these limitations or perceived limitations in your life. Okay. And it's very important to know where your Saturn placement is because this is the area of life that you may struggle a lot. And some people can feel like they're cursed in this area of life. It's usually an area of life that you feel very insecure about or you don't feel as confident in this area of life, usually because you've had a lot of setbacks or you've had a lot of things not turn out in your favor in the house that Saturn is in. So the house that Saturn is in can kind of make us feel a little bit insecure about ourselves and that's why it's so important for you to learn about your Saturn placement and learn most importantly what it is that you can do to fix this, okay, and to combat these feelings of insecurity and inadequacy that Saturn can cause. A few key things to know about your Saturn placement. Saturn rules time, okay, it rules time. So it takes time for Saturn's energy to come into its full fruition. So where, whatever house that your Saturn is placed in, that is a house that you can be a late bloomer in life, okay? So if you have like Saturn in the seventh house, you may not find a harmonious relationship until you get older in age. If you have Saturn in the second house of finances, you may not get the money that you want or that you feel like you deserve or your earning power may not really kick in until later in life, okay? If you have um, Saturn in the fifth house, the house of fun and entertainment, you may not really start to enjoy yourself and kick back and relax and let your inner child out until you get older in age, okay? So from my experience, Saturn doesn't really come into its full maturation until about 40, okay? So when I see, wherever I see Saturn in somebody's chart, I usually tell them you can expect for things to start working properly or you to be in your full stride when you get in about your 40s. Now, people don't want to hear this. People do not want to hear this, but I'm always honest with people because a lot of people wonder 
why things haven't happened for them the area in the house that Saturn is in it it's because Saturn is there and Saturn is slow time it's gradual it's step by step it's painstaking they okay? take it from a Capricorn moon it's painstaking so it takes a while for you to learn the lessons and gain the wisdom that Saturn is trying to teach you in that area of life and usually it's accompanied by a lot of trials and tribulations yes so trying things them not working out you having to fall on your ass and you having to redo it start all over again start from scratch okay so the house that saturn is placed in that may be an area of life that you may feel that you fail a lot or you just cannot get it right for some reason. It's really like a thorn in your side. But what you are doing is you are gaining mastery in that area of life. You are learning to become the master of that house. So start looking at it in that respect because once you do achieve success, which is what Saturn's all about, once you do achieve success in the house that Saturn is in, you will be the master of it. You will sit at the top of the mountain. You will be the person that knows everything from A to Z about that house. And then you can actually take your knowledge and teach other people about that house. That's how good that you're going to be at that house. So please do not look at Saturn in a negative light. Don't look at it like you're doomed for the rest of your life. Don't look at it as you're doomed for the rest of your life because you're not. You are just learning to become the master of that energy, okay? So just look at it in that way. There's always a positive way to look at situations. I try to be optimistic, sun in the ninth house. I always try to look at the positive instead of the negative of a situation, and that's how I see it. And then also just look at it as you have something to look forward to in life. Your success is yet to come. Few key things about your Saturn placement. It is an area of life that you need to gain maturity, okay? A lot of the decisions that you make in that area or in that house may not be the most mature. It's an area of life that you need to gain maturity in and that you need to gain wisdom because you may not know enough about that area of life and you need to gain more understanding about it. You're going to experience blockages in the house that Saturn is placed in and you're not gonna know why. It's going to be an area of life that you're going to continue to try and try to succeed, but you keep on getting knocked down and it can be very frustrating in that area of life. But it's usually something that you want really, really, really bad. You're also going to have to do hard work in that area of life. So things are not going to come easy to you in that area of life that Saturn is placed in. You're going to have to work for it and you're going to have to work hard for it. You may also have to make some sacrifices in the area of life that Saturn is placed in okay and when I'm saying area of life I'm speaking of the house placements because the house placements represent different areas of life so just to go over it the first house represents your individual identity and the self second house rules your finances your possessions and the things that you own third house rules communication in your immediate environment fourth house rules the home and the family and your childhood and your deepest emotions, your emotional foundation. Fifth house rules entertainment, fun, hobbies, what you do to enjoy yourself. Sixth house rules your daily routine and your health, how you take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. Seventh house is your one-to-one -one relationships and partnerships and marriage. Eighth house is joint finances, soul bonding, deep intimacy, death, rebirth, and transformation. Ninth house is higher learning, higher education, and higher spirituality. Tenth house is your overall career and public standing, your public image. Eleventh house is your groups and organizations, your tribe. And twelfth house is the house of your unconscious and your dreams and your ideals and spirituality. So oh, that's an overview of all the houses, okay? So we are going to go ahead and get into the Saturn placement okay so now we're going to be talking about saturn in the eighth house okay saturn in the eighth now this is a deep placement um it can be a really hard placement really painful at times because the eighth house is the house of house of death rebirth and transformation it's also a house of loss you know emotional loss having to give up something things like that so people that have saturn in the eighth house can feel like they are continuously losing things that they love or losing things that they hold very dear to them. 
So since eighth house is the house of death, it could literally have to deal with you losing loved ones or people that were very, very important to you at a young age, whatever age really, it can have to deal with you having to deal with the death or the loss of a loved one, okay? Or it can just be symbolic, the death and loss. So you just always feel like you're losing emotional attachments to people that you really, really care about and not knowing how to deal with the emotions of that. So people that have Saturn in the eighth house usually have a lot of blockages with their emotions because the eighth house rules intimacy, sharing, bonding, how you share your emotions with another person. People that have Saturn in the eighth house can be terrified of sharing their emotions and being intimate with another person. You can even have a lot of blockages sexually because of this placement because eighth house rules sex. So you can have a fear of like really letting go and really expressing yourself sexually. There could be a sexual blockage here with Saturn in the eighth. And you can just have a fear of merging with another person, like really opening up to another person can be very, very hard for you. You can have a lot of um, trapped traumas within yourself with Saturn in the eighth house. Just like a lot of traumas that you bury beneath the surface or that you even forgot about, like you could compartmentalize your traumas and like, you know, forget about them and they could just be buried very, very deep inside as emotional blockages. Saturn in the eighth house, people are usually forced to transform when they don't want to, or they may stubbornly cling to things so that they don't have to transform. Or like I said, you just may always feel like you're in a perpetual cycle of having to let go of things and going through loss a lot. Also, eighth house rules debt and shared finances. So, one thing that a Saturn in the eighth house person does not want to do is take out any loans, even though you probably already done that by now, because people that have Saturn in the eighth house that I've read for in the past usually have a bunch of student loans, credit card debt, all kinds of stuff, you know, especially by the time they're 30. But borrowing money from other people is not a good idea when you have Saturn in the eighth house or borrowing from a financial institution is not a good thing. Taking out loans, any of that, because Saturn will make it hard for you to pay those debts back and you can easily get into debt when you have Saturn in the eighth house. So this house can bring on a lot of financial burdens. So you really want to try to like make your own money, sustain and maintain your own money and not you know try to borrow from another institution because it'll just be like you know obstacles trying to pay back the money and things like that also sharing with other people because eighth house is not just about sharing intimately with another person but it's about sharing your physical items with another person sharing your possessions with another person so sometimes people that have saturn in the eighth house don't like to share with other people like they don't like to share their items with other people they don't like to share their belongings with other people because there could be a lot of fear around letting people borrow things or you know opening up what's yours to another person there could be a lot of fear around that also eighth house rules it can roll intense experiences you know the intense experiences of, of your life so sometimes you can feel things can be out of control like highly intense emotional experiences that you guys can go through um, that you can feel like limit you in some sort of way and this can bring a lot of dramatic experiences into your life that you have to deal with and, and with this position, it can also have to deal with just like losing money in general. Like you can always feel like you're losing money to someone else. You have to give up money to someone else. Also children, because a lot of people don't know that eighth house rules children like shared as a shared resource. So say you were married to somebody and you went through a divorce and you have to share custody with your ex-spouse or something. It can bring on a really nasty battle between you having to share your kids with your your ex or something like that. You know, shared resources is something that you share with another person and children do fall under that. So a lot of people that have Saturn in the eighth house have to go through like custody battles and stuff like that with like a bitter ex and have like all this drama and stuff like that dealing with um, eighth house. And that's because Saturn is trying to teach you or rather restrict you from oversharing or sharing too much with another person that you don't really trust because eighth house is about deep trust and deep intimacy. So it's okay for you to share your life with another person, share your emotions with another person, but it needs to be someone that you really, really, really trust 
and that you have a real honest emotional connection with and someone that you know like won't hurt you basically don't get involved with shady people when you have Saturn in the eighth house because it's like if you get involved in sh with shady people they're going to end up taking something from you in some sort of way that you're not able to get back as a show for the um, energetic exchange right because that's what the eighth house represents an energetic exchange and then it's like checks and balances either you win or you lose something when you guys go to separate because it's like you come together you merge and then you got to go separate and some one of you's taking some stuff the other one is taking some other stuff one of you may walk away with something more valuable the other one may walk away with nothing you know what i'm saying so eighth house can even like roll like divorce settlements and things like that so that may be something that you may feel like you lose out a lot on or you feel like you didn't get your fair share in something. So Saturn wants you to be very careful about who you merge with, like being very, very picky about it, but not to the point where you are afraid to merge with people or you're completely afraid or distant from in intimacy. Saturn just wants you to be selective upon, you know, who you choose to share your energy with because it's like if you make the wrong move, you can have to pay out a lot later down the line and it can get really ugly, right? One positive thing about this placement, because I know you guys are like, okay, is there anything positive about this placement? I think it makes you a very emotionally strong, resilient person. I mean, having to go through all these emotional losses and, you know, these um, emotional blockages and these fears of intimacy, I feel like it does make you very strong and able to be resilient through all of life's ups and downs, all the death and rebirths that happen throughout life. You become stronger and stronger, you know, with all these these losses, whether they're energetic losses, emotional losses, spiritual losses, physical losses that you guys have to go through. It ends up making you this very powerful, resilient person who is always transforming, you know, through your pain, through your loss, but you're always transforming to where you get to a place where you're kind of unbreakable, you know what I mean? It's like you've been through hell's fire so many times that you are unbreakable, okay? And so I kind of understand this placement because I have Saturn and Scorpio. It's not the same, but you know, it has tinges of the same type of vibration in it. So definitely very strong and resilient people for sure who's definitely been through hell and back for sure. But then also eighth house does bring rewards as well because when you let go of something, new life is always born. So once you guys really learn to just let go grace gracefully, Saturn will end up bringing new life and new energy into your life that's more beneficial for you, okay? All right, so if you have Saturn in the eighth house, go ahead and put your experiences down below and I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.